Okay, in this video we're going to simplify the expression natural log of 4x times the square root of 7x squared plus 1 all divided by y times the quantity z plus 1. Okay, so all that's inside of the natural log there. And again, these square brackets aren't really necessary, um, just like in the previous video, but they are used for clarity, so it's not really a bad idea. So anyway, um, in this example, we're going to need all three properties. The uh, product rule, which says natural log of m n equals oops, natural log of m plus natural log of n, and the quotient rule, which says natural log of m divided by n equals natural log of m minus natural log of n. And the power rule, which says natural log of m to the r equals r times natural log of m. Okay. So even though this example is a bit more complicated than the previous video, uh, I do want to go through it a little bit more quickly just to kind of show you uh, a streamlined thought process. So start with this. Now again, just like before, what we want to do is look at what's the biggest thing happening? Is there anything that's affecting everything? So if we start, uh, here's the natural log, look inside of it, the biggest thing happening is the division, okay, because the division is affecting everything here. So here we do see a square root, but the square root's only on this part right here. Uh, it's not affecting this or anything down here. So the biggest thing that's happening that's affecting everything is the division. So that's the first thing that we're going to want to handle. So first we need to use the quotient rule with uh, this entire top is our m and the entire bottom is our n. So if we do that, we're going to get uh, this is equal to the natural log of 4x times the square root of 7x squared plus 1. And then square brackets here, not really necessary, but not a bad idea. And then minus the natural log of the bottom, which is y times z plus 1. Okay. And square brackets again. Also not really necessary, but not a bad idea. So let's scroll down a bit, give ourselves some room. Now um, there's quite a lot to do here, so we can work on a few things at once. So let's, uh, I want to save this part for the end though, because there's something very important to point out with that. So let's just focus on simplifying this guy right now. So here what we have is natural log of 4 times x times the square root of 7x squared plus 1. So that's going to be equal to natural log of 4 plus natural log of x plus natural log of the square root of 7x squared plus 1. And then we still have minus natural log of y times z plus 1. OK. So that's still going on there. And again, what happened here? Well, here we just have a product of three things. So natural log of 4 times x times the square root of 7x squared plus 1. So since we have a product of three things, we can split it up as uh, the sum of the natural log of these things. So natural log of the first thing plus natural log of the second thing plus natural log of the third thing. Okay, so it's just sort of an extended application or repeated application really of the uh, product rule for logs. Okay, so the next thing we can do is um, natural log of four can't be simplified anymore. Natural log of x cannot be simplified anymore. Um, but here we have seven x squared plus one all under a uh, square root here inside of the natural log. So if we just focus on this guy right here, uh, the biggest thing happening inside of the log is the square root, okay? So what we can do then is rewrite this as natural log of 7x squared plus 1 all raised to the 1 half power, okay? So then uh, that shows us that we can use the power rule on this guy in the next step, and then still I'm just going to write minus natural log of y times z plus 1. Okay, so continuing, we get natural log of 4 plus natural log of x, and then plus 1 half. So now remember the uh, power rule says that we can take our power up here, take our power, and then pull it out, write it as a factor right here. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take uh, this 1 half and pull it out and write it as a factor out here. And we're going to get 1 half uh, times the natural log of the quantity 7x squared plus 1. Now these parentheses here, these are necessary because if we leave them off, 
then it might be interpreted as natural log of 7x squared, and then separately, plus 1. Okay, so that's not the same thing. We want to be very careful about that. Make sure that we do have these parentheses uh, here as they're written. Okay, and then minus natural log of y times z plus 1, like that. Okay, now um, natural log of 4 can't be simplified. Natural log of x can't be simplified. This right here can also not be simplified. It might be... Uh, it might look like you can, it might be kind of tempting to try something, but we can't, um, even though we have this x squared right here, the 7 and the 1 kind of ruin that. And you also might be tempted to uh, try to simplify it with another product, or yeah, with another product rule, because we have 7 times x squared, but again, the plus 1 ruins that for us, we can't do anything. So there's nothing more that we can do to simplify this. So the next thing that we can do is, um, let's focus on this one right now. So we still have natural log of 4 plus natural log of x plus 1 half times the natural log of 7x squared plus 1 and then minus. Now what we have here is natural log of y times uh, the quantity z plus 1. Okay, so we're just going to use the uh, product rule again. So natural log of one thing times another is natural log of the first thing plus natural log of the second thing. Okay. So natural log of the first thing plus natural log of the second thing. Now when I used to teach this in actual live courses, uh, I would like to stop right here and ask my students what's wrong with this. And what's wrong is that um, we have a minus sign out here, so we have to be very careful. So this minus sign is on this entire thing here. Let's make that a little better. So what we're really doing is subtracting this entire thing here. Okay. And that's going to eventually affect uh, this plus sign becomes a minus sign right here. Okay, so we have to be very, very, very careful about that. That's why I wanted to save this part for the end, because uh, I wanted to point this out separately. Okay, so this, um, once we distribute that minus sign, we're um, pretty much going to be done. So this equals natural log of 4 plus natural log of x plus 1 half times the natural log of 7x squared plus 1 minus, now let's distribute the minus sign, minus natural log of y. Uh, and then minus natural log of z plus 1. And that is our final answer right there. Uh, this last line down here is our final answer. So if we have this logarithmic expression, uh, ln 4x square root 7x squared plus 1, all divided by y times the quantity z plus 1, we can expand that using properties of logs, and we get this uh, expression here. Now you might be saying to yourself, is this really more simplified than what we started with? And it might not look like it is, but um, when you move on to calculus, uh, if you do, um, you will see that uh, certain things that you need to do in calculus to functions like this uh, will be tremendously easier if the function's in this form um, than it will be if the function were instead in this form. Okay, So that's why it's important to learn this kind of stuff now so that when you actually need it in calculus, uh, you'll be much more comfortable working with it. So that's another example of simplifying logarithmic expressions and just another slow scroll through everything that we did.